finally together. Yes, welcome to Electromedia showroom. So what's up? What are we talking about today? As usual, I have a question. Why doesn't my OEM Bluetooth sound good? I hear that question a lot because people say it is digital audio, right? And digital audio is always perfect. But digital audio is not always high resolution and it is not even always CD standard. I thought it just can connect and have a great sound. Well, different Bluetooth devices give us different quality of connection. Um, the OEM often does not sound great. They force a power saving mode and they will limit the bandwidth. Um, and often the Bluetooth receiver is in the trunk. And so if the handset is in the cabin, it is not a good connection. Hold on, wait a minute. I thought Bluetooth was a standard. Well, there is a standard. Um, all Bluetooth devices have to support an audio standard, but it is not a high resolution standard. Uh, the standard codec for encoding and decoding audio is called SBC. And it often does not sound great because it limits the bandwidth. So Bluetooth devices do not have to follow that standard for SBC. They can use any codec that they like as long as they also support. SBC. So if the phone supports a better codec than SBC and the streaming receiver also supports that same codec? Yes, when you pair your phone to the device, they share a list of all the supported codecs and they will automatically use the best version that is supported by both devices. Now, Android phones have two high resolution codecs. They have aptX or they have LDAC and they both have a high resolution mode, but they both also have a high efficiency mode that does not sound as good. So you can use a codec that is capable of high resolution, but you still might not get it? Yes, some devices will be in power saving mode all the time, and that will limit the performance. Now with an iPhone, you can support AAC, and it is not a high resolution codec but it still sounds better than SBC. So iPhones don't have high-res capability? Well, not yet. And even if you use a device with a high-res codec, we might not get the performance we expect. So how do we know what connection quality we have achieved? Well, those are great questions. And I have a great answer. The Audison Beacon. Wow. The Audison Beacon is the first automotive Bluetooth 5.0 receiver that has been certified high resolution by the Japan Audio Society, and it supports both LDAC and AAC. So you can get the highest performance from an Android device that uses LDAC, and you can get the highest performance from a digital audio player that uses LDAC, and you can get the best sound from an iOS phone or an iOS player using AAC. It has high bandwidth, low noise analog outputs, and it has a reclocked low jitter spit if stream that comes out the Toslink optical port. That gives us the best in optical isolation electrically and beautiful digital sound. Now we tested these outputs with a white noise track that is wide range. And we got frequency response that went to 40K with LDAC. And we got performance to 20 kilohertz with iOS and AAC. Now these LEDs on the top will confirm what performance level you are getting when you pair your device to the Beacon. That eliminates the uncertainty. Now, Bluetooth 5.0 is rated at 24 times the range of the original Bluetooth specification. That gives us the best possible performance even if the receiver is in the trunk and the handset is in the cabin. Now, the internal Bluetooth throughput, it has smart switching and it will let the Beacon be used with other Toslink devices, such as our BitDMI external digital preamp. And that will let you use the Beacon even if your bit processor only has the one Toslink input. And since this uses a streaming music Bluetooth profile, not a hands-free profile, your modern telephone can connect to the Beacon for streaming, but it can also be connected to your OEM hands-free system for hands-free calling. But you can get high res with an iPhone. So what if I want to listen to high res music? Well, the iPhone is a very popular phone and many iPhone users still want high resolution sound. So what we do is we get a digital audio player that can support high res. I have a digital audio player with LDAC and it sounds great through my Beacon. Now, another thing, the SPDIF digital audio specification 
does not support volume control in the digital domain. And the reason is if you control volume through the digital domain, you limit the dynamic range of digital. Now that is not a terrible problem in most car audio systems because most car audio systems cannot take advantage of the full dynamic range of digital. And most popular music is not recorded in a way that uses the full dynamic range either. So many devices do put a form of volume control on the spit of stream. Like our BDMI. Yes, exactly, like the BDMI. Now, Audison R&D wanted to eliminate the possibility of any degradation to the sound quality when you use a Beacon. So one thing they did is they use a Wolfson reclocking IC to make the spit of stream as clean as possible. But they also use a feature called absolute volume. An absolute volume is compatible with the Bit Virtuoso, as, as well as a couple of future Audison products we cannot talk about today. <laughs> and you need a Toslink cable, and then you use the absolute volume cable that is already in the Beacon kit, and you set the switch to absolute volume, and then you pair your phone to the device. And at that moment, the output level of the Bit Virtuoso is controlled by the volume buttons on your phone. So with absolute volume, we have taken the volume control and moved it from the digital domain back to the analog domain. And that gives us the best precision of the volume control and the full dynamic range for your digital files. What if I need to use my phone? Well, remember the Beacon will allow your modern handset to stay connected to your hands-free system and to the Beacon at the same time. So if a call comes in, the Beacon will release the phone so it can use the OEM hands-free system, and when the call is over, the Beacon will get priority again. What does this have to do with OEM integration? That is a good question. Some OEM sources are limited in their sound quality. Uh, what we find is sometimes the stereo has been damaged beyond repair. We cannot get it back to stereo. Or the low bass may be completely missing, or the distortion may be too high. So the Beacon is a high fidelity way to get the best possible sound from your handheld device into your aftermarket system. Now I understand why the Bluetooth in my car sounds bad, and I also know why with the Beacon will sound much better. Thanks for your explanation.